Uh, Lamar arrived Saturday night. We picked him up at his place in Las Vegas, brought him out there, great mood, ready to have a good time. Just wanted to get away for a few days. I can't confirm nor deny that, that Lamar was a frequent visitor or that he had sex with any of the girls. Well, he was in a good mood, just wanted to have a good time. He just wanted a little peace and quiet to get away from, get away from the pressures of his life and, and uh, come hang out with us and drink a little cognac and, and have a good time. You know, he did, he did get a phone call on Sunday that, um, that upset him a little bit. We don't know what that was about. But after that, he, he regrouped and he was eating good, sleeping good and just having a good time. The only time his demeanor changed is when he got that phone call on Sunday afternoon. But besides that, great mood. What, do you know whether or not Lamar was taking any illegal, illegal drugs? We don't think so. And we say that because the police looked through his things and they didn't tell us they found anything. The girls that were hanging out with him didn't see any use of any illegal drugs at all. Um, and the fact that he was going to sleep every night uh, tells me that he probably wasn't doing any drugs. Well, people bring in a, a, a different types of ED medicines. Some of them have Viagra, Levitra, Cialis. Some of them use the herbal pills. Uh, some of them don't do anything. So, yeah, is, is it uncommon? No. Do you know if Lamar was taking it? We, he was, we understand that he was taking, not only taking it, but taking a lot of it. A lot? What, can you sort of, of an herbal Viagra. What is a lot of it, though? Well, I, we heard, from my people, like eight or ten pills. That's how, how much does that extend what you would possibly recommend to a person? You know? I don't know. I've, I've seen guys take one pill and, and, uh, and, and have, a, have a real good time. So uh, it's, it sounds, sounds like a lot to me. He was having a good time. Uh, there was two girls that found him. Two girls, Ryder Cherry and, uh, uh, and um, God, what's the other one's name? Something Monroe. There was two girls that found him. They saw him at 6 o'clock this morning. Uh, they went to see if he wanted to hang out in the afternoon about 3 o'clock. And that was uh, Ryder Cherry and Monica Monroe. Um, they found him unconscious. Were, were they the same girls that he was hanging out with all weekend? He was around those two a lot. But he was around everybody. He's having fun. He's a very social guy. They saw him at 6 o'clock this morning and he, w he was fine. He was going to sleep. And then they, at 3.30 this afternoon, they went to check on him, and he was unconscious. Was he breathing? He was breathing, but unconscious. Well, they, they could see him breathing. Uh, you know, we called 911. My staff did. They said to roll him on his left side, and he started throwing up a, a lot. So he, he, was, he was breathing. Uh, then the ambulance and the police came and took him to the Prump Valley Hospital, where they said that he was in bad shape. Uh, they thought... He might not make it, and they were going to air flight him to Las Vegas, but he didn't fit in the helicopter. Well, they, they do check all his vitals, and, and they, the main thing they do is get him out of there and get him in the, get him in the ambulance and get him to, to the hospital. He looked terrible. He, they, you know, they, you know, how did Lamar look? He looked awful. He looked like a guy who was really sick and needed to be rushed to an emergency room immediately.